Thanks for joining my fart. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love fiber crisps. They're basically whole grain crackers that are high in fiber. The two main companies who make them are Wasa Crisp Breads and GG Scandinavian Crisp Breads, which if you follow the F-Factor diet or have heard of it, you might recognize it as a cornerstone of that diet. So years ago, I tried a GG Crisp and um, I almost threw up. So I wouldn't, I didn't touch them for years, but now my friend Alti of At Boutique Bodies loves them and eats them pretty much daily. So I revisited them not too long ago and I made some discoveries. Gigi Crisp Breads have quite a few varieties. This one is their original and this is, you can find this wherever Crisp Breads are sold. This is a popular one. Um, each one of these are 20 calories, no fat, six grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, and one gram of protein. They also taste like punishment and regret. This is one original crisp bread. It's like they took sawdust and like glued it together and made it into a cracker. Hmm. But then I discovered these ones, Scandinavian Fiber Crisp Bread Raisin and Honey. So each one of these is 40 calories, but before you tell me, oh, but that's double the calories of the other one, um, I will tell you that you shoved two Oreos in your mouth the other day because and didn't count them because no one saw. Fine, maybe that was me. So I don't care about an extra 20 calories per crisp bread, especially if, if my life is better because they don't taste horrible. I've even found myself craving these, which is weird, but they're actually that good. I, I, I really like them. For the Wasa crackers, I chose, this is my favorite, it's light rye. And this is one that I find a lot um, in the supermarkets. It's the multigrain. The light rye is lighter. It's in color and in um, weight. It's very light and crispy. The multigrain is a heartier cracker. Each light rye cracker has 20 calories, no fat, 5 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, and two gram, 1 gram of protein. Each multigrain cracker has 35 calories, no fat, eight grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. If you compare the original GG to the light rye, they have the same number of calories. The GG has four grams of fiber, rye has two grams of fiber, but taste-wise, Wasa light rye wins over GG craptastic horribleness but let's backtrack for a second. Why even include fiber crisp breads in your diet? Well, for one, they're convenient as fuck. Like, you can put turkey slices, cottage cheese, hummus, guacamole, uh, regular cheese. There's just so much that you can put on them. So, variety and convenience. Also, it's a complex carb. So you're not, you're going to get nutrients and you're going to get fiber going to get steady energy, you're going to get fullness. They're just really awesome to eat, especially if you're watching your weight or just trying to be healthy. One of the perks of Gigi crisps is that you can throw them in a blender and grind them up and use them as breadcrumbs. That's what Alti does and she uses them in a lot of her recipes, but I don't really cook, so I don't do that. The takeaway is that you really can't go wrong with either crisp bread. Wasa's great, Gigi's are great. Um, they all help you poop because they all have insoluble fiber. The Gigi's have wheat bran, unless they specifically say oat bran. And wheat bran is superior to oat bran in terms of getting the poop out because 
Wheat bran is an insoluble fiber. Oat bran is a soluble fiber. It still helps, but insoluble fiber is what pushes that shit out, literally. Well, hope you enjoyed my fart. Food Review Thursday. I will fart with you next week. Bye.